So behind you, Ambassador, I believe, are images of Bakhmut, where some of the toughest fighting of the war is taking place. President Zelensky said yesterday that it's getting more difficult to defend Bakhmut. Uh, your general, Alexander uh, Sirsky, described the situation in the city as extremely tense. What can you tell us, based on your information, about the situation there today? It is very, it is very difficult and tense, and it's not, it's not only Bakhmut. So if we take again, as I said, the front line is very long and wide, and in Bakhmut and in a number of places near Bakhmut and Kupiansk and Liman and uh, you know all that, uh, all the villages near near the Bakhmut, the fight is literally twenty four seven, and it's a very you know, World War I type of fight with the heavy artillery, with um, air strikes from Russia, with uh, rocket strikes, with the multi-rocket multi, uh, rocket launch systems used by them. Uh, so it, it's, it's a very, very difficult fight, but Russians are losing many more uh, there. Our brave defenders are holding the line and they're holding this line for a number of months now. It's not just today, you know. So um, we we also see that in addition to the fight in Bakhmut and in the vicinity of Bakhmut, uh, Russians continue to try to to do to to push on all other directions. So they continue shelling Kherson. They continue uh, shelling uh, villages in Zaporizhia. Uh, so they're trying also, you know, to to press in a number of directions. We will defend Ukraine everywhere. And as you saw from the president, from the Chord, from all the deputy commanders on the ground, uh, people keep asking, you know, what, what is the significance of, of this city or that city? And of course, you know, on the one, you know, we will not, um, there, it's not a political decision. It's, it's a decision of the military commanders and they know how to do it. And they have shown during this year that not only Ukrainians, but all of us, can trust them and can trust their judgment. But as a, as a non-military person, I, I can add that there is a significance of every village in Ukraine. Every village that is not liberated is people, Ukrainians, who are behind the line. And they are not just sitting there, right, waiting for us. They have been tortured, they have been killed, they, they have been subjected to all the war crimes and atrocities that we have seen in Bucha in Izum, in Kherson, in so many places that were unknown to the world until this year. And unfortunately, they are known now as the symbol of something we have not seen since the World War II in Europe, the mass graves and, and, and all of this. So for us, you know, the more weapons we can get, the faster we can go on counter offensives everywhere, the faster we can liberate our land and it means that more lives we can save. 